Well, we also want you to surprise your loved one this Valentine's Day with a beautiful arranged bouquet of seasonal flowers from Bloom. Bloom is a small family-owned floral delivery subscription service right here in Sacramento, and we are so happy to have them back on the show. Bloom is very unique, so share with our viewers what makes this so special. So, <clears throat> excuse me, we are a locally... Um, a local business we do um, monthly weekly subscriptions and one-time deliveries to homes and businesses in Sacramento and we use flowers that we grow ourselves as well as what other local farmers grow so you really focus <coughs> on sustainability we just we do. heard about you know purchasing fish sustainably and then this is also a way to create some beauty natural beauty inside your home with also focusing on local economy and mm -hmm. that sustainability as well so why do you think it's so important though that people shop local um, well, the, when you shop local, you're uh, supporting your local economy, you're supporting your neighbors, your friends, your family, mm -hmm. all those people that um, are trying to build their businesses in Sacramento, and you probably know most of them. Yeah, and it only makes your community stronger, too, mm -hmm. right? And, and a great place to live and Definitely. celebrate. So celebrate your local community and buy flowers from uh, right here at home. So in addition to having those prearranged bouquets that we are also accustomed to and love, especially around Valentine's Day, uh, you also do DIY bouquets where people can get the flowers and build them themselves. We do, yes. So um, basically you get the same um, amount of flowers. it will be the same types of flowers that we do in our regular arranged ones. But if you are the creative type that really wants to go ahead and do your own bouquet, then we want to give you that opportunity as well as making it easier to get um, the greens and the fillers and all of the extra flowers that you need and not just um, focal flowers. Okay, so educate me. Let, let's go ahead and build a, uh, a little bouquet of our own. All right, so I, here's some clippers for okay. you. I like to start off with my greens and I do a variety of greens so you can pick a couple, pick some. And Something over here smells incredible. <laughs> And I'm trying to figure out what it is, but during the break I was like, oh my goodness, it's so <laughs> fragrant. So not only is this bouquet going to be beautiful, but it's going to smell amazing. I'm trying to, oh, I think that might be it too. And maybe these guys over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 it's eucalyptus. eucalyptus. Okay, so how do I want to trim this to fit in this vase properly? You're going to go ahead and you're just going to trim it down to the length that you like. Okay. Um, and you're going to want to cut your stems at a 45 degree angle. Oh dear, and okay, so is that like this? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And then right. you can always, you can always make it shorter. You can't make it longer. So. Okay, so perhaps <laughs> I should have started maybe a little bit longer just to make sure it's not going to be down in the water, right? You want it okay. in, yeah, you want it in the water and you'd want to, um, I went ahead and already stripped all your leaves off the bottom because okay. you don't want any leaves in the water. Okay. Um, and then you just put it in and make it the way that you like. Okay, well I'm going to, I guess just kind of keep adding. Keep adding okay. to it. And then you after you it. do your greens, you're going to go ahead and add in your, um, your focal flowers. We have carnations and roses and tulips and anemones. Um, and then we also have some filler. Um, I like the seeded eucalyptus to add a little texture. And then we have some wax flower as well. Okay. To so I'm going to just kind of put all these in here. Clearly, I really don't have much of a vision at the moment. So I'm just going to stick it in, and then I'm going to start working around with those flowers. Um, but while I do that, please give me some guidance. Uh, but also, tell our viewers, too, I mean, because Valentine's is coming up. Mm -hmm. um, it, you know, why do you think maybe doing a DIY bouquet would be like a great option for a gift? Uh, you can do a DIY bouquet. It's fun if your loved one is a creative. Um, they really like doing those things. Um, that's a great option. They can put it in one vase. They can put it in multiple vases. Um, it's you know, if they really like to be that hands-on creative person, that's a great way to do it. We, uh, so yeah. And then maybe too, what if, what if you created your own bouquet for somebody that you love? So then all of a sudden that kind of like, that's you it. know, represents your love and the whole kind of, you know, thought behind <laughs> putting the whole thing together. I'm clearly not talented at this. Are you seeing what's happening as I'm putting this in here? Okay, so what would you, what, what flower should I put in first? What would you say? Um, you can go ahead and do the roses. Um, okay. Be careful, there are a couple of thorns. I stripped them down mostly, but be careful of the thorns. All right, so if somebody though, um, in addition to Valentine's, uh, first of all, if they wanna do anything for Valentine's, when do they need to get their orders into you by? By the 11th. By the 11th. Yeah. Okay. And does that include DIY bouquet orders or is that just for someone who wants a prearranged? Um, our Valentine's Day deliveries are all prearranged. Um, okay. They're going to be um, delivered on Valentine's Day. So that way they'll that get That way them. they get the love on the day that it's intended? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and if somebody wants to be a part of your prescri uh, your uh, prescription, your subscription, <laughs> it could be a prescription for like happiness though, it right? Could. Doesn't this make you want to smile? Um, what do they need to do? They just go to our website. Um, you can um, go there and you get to choose either monthly, weekly um, deliveries. If you do want to do like a, a bi-monthly, we do that. Just give us a call. Um, but then we'll deliver each week or each month um, for you. Okay. And then on the topic of sustainability too, 
um, when you deliver it, you do it in a very green way, right? Yeah. So we do deliveries by um, neighborhoods so that we're not going all over the place every single day. Mm -hmm. um, so each like neighborhood has its own delivery day. So if you're in the pocket, you're going to be delivered on one day. If you're in like Rockland, you'll be delivered on another day. So everybody has, um, so everybody in that same neighborhood gets their stuff on the same day. And, and obviously the, the goal of that too is to reduce that carbon footprint. Mm -hmm. You're maximizing on uh, on your fuel and, and your energy and just, it's, it's just a, a great way to to, to kind of cut down on that, which yeah. is awesome. I love everything about what you're doing here, Thank Amanda. You. This is fantastic. <laughs> so where can our viewers go for more information? Um, they can go to our website, uh, bloomsubscription.com, and they can check it all out there. Wonderful. Thank you. This interview involves commercial content. The products and services featured appear as paid advertising.